Can you see a Magnum is coming? Today's video is so getting demonetized. Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. It's another week in Mexico, and this week we have two new cars to unlock. This week in the festival playlist, we have this, the Ferrari F8. It is officially here. We're actually gonna be unlocking the Ferrari F8 tomorrow, so if you wanna see that, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. In the Forza-thon shop this week, yo, hello, Ken Block. Nice little unicorn for only 300 points. One of the coolest cars ever is this week's DLC car. This is the Dodge Mag Magnum SRT8. Ever since this car was confirmed actually coming to the game, I was so pumped to drive it, do all the customization. Before we get into any FH5 customization, let's try driving this thing bone stock, and I'm gonna tell you why this isn't actually a Dodge. Man, how sick does that thing look? It's such a cool looking car. Four doors for you and all of your friends, and room for your dog in the back, all powered by a big ol' head. Emmy boy. As per usual, this wouldn't be an AR-12 video without any fun facts about the Dodge Magnum and why it's not actually a Dodge. But before we get into that, I, I want to set the record straight. When this car was officially confirmed for Forza Horizon 5, I called this one of the ugliest cool cars ever made. And that seemed to trigger the internet. And I stand by what I said. Nobody is looking at the Dodge Magnum and going, wow, what a beautiful looking car. It's also an extremely cool looking car. There's just something so cool about having an estate car with a massive V8 engine in it, room for all of your friends and your dog. It's totally unnecessary. And that's what makes it cool. Dodge basically built this on the Chrysler LX platform, I think it was. Basically, that's like their front engine rear wheel drive platform that they used in the mid 2000s a whole bunch. However, for this car, Dodge, I, I think, got a little bit lazy. So they called their friends over at Mercedes and they said, hey, Mercedes, could you help us build it? And Mercedes said, yeah, I think Mercedes got carried away with the whole building process because the front suspension, that's from a Mercedes S-Class. The rear suspension, that's from a Mercedes E-Class. Let me just pause. I'm gonna read off my list. All of these are bits that they got from Mercedes. They got the five-speed transmission from Mercedes. They got the rear differential, the drive shaft, the traction control, and the ABS system from Mercedes. And the steering system, and the electrical architecture, and the cabin electronics, and all of the wiring harnesses. And the cruise control, and the turn signals, and, and, and the seat controls, and the seat frame. And if you bought an all-wheel drive version of the Dodge Magnum, they also did the all-wheel drive system from the 4Matic Mercedes. This is probably gonna be the most reliable Dodge ever made. It also might porpoise and then complain about being slow. In all seriousness though, I absolutely love this thing. I don't know what it is. Ever since I was a little kid, I've always loved estate cars. I actually grew up with estate cars. My dad actually had two Volkswagen Passat estate cars back in the day. And I think that must have triggered something in me because ever since then, I've absolutely loved them. The Audi RS6, for those of you who don't know, is like my all-time favorite car. The Mercedes E63 estate is just unbelievably cool. Every single part of me says I shouldn't like the Dodge Magnum, but I love the Dodge Magnum. It's such a cool car. Also, also made in Canada. It's an American car with all German bits and bobs built by the Canadians. You love to see it. <laughs> Do you think we can make the Dodge Magnum into a 10 second car? Keeping it rear wheel drive. Our first mission, 10 second Dodge Magnum in rear wheel drive. Let's see what we've got. So we've got some engine swaps. Let's scroll through them and rev them up. Would it really be a drag build if we didn't go Hellcat? We're going Hellcat. Yep, Hellcat it is. Arrow for this thing, I'm not expecting much. Yep, nasty front arrow. Somehow, even nastier rear arrow. If we are gonna be drag racing, we definitely want some good old drag racing slicks. We're gonna keep our front tires as 
thin as they could be. If I could make them even thinner, that'd be better, but I can't. And our rear tires, 345s, jeez. We've actually got some engine spacers as well, so we can bring those tires out nicely. Looking good in the front and in the rear. We'll upgrade our brakes. That's going to make us a little bit lighter. Upgrade our suspension. We've got all sorts of suspension, which we will come back to. Since this is a big, heavy estate car, we should be able to bring that right the way down. A thousand pounds nearly. And then we need some horsepower for our big old Hellcat engine. So upgrade that supercharger. 804 horsepower. Who needs 707 horsepower when you have 1,007 horsepower? I, I think this might be a nine second car. I wish Dodge could bring the Magnum back as a body style option for the current Charger and Challenger platforms. And maybe change the name considering that Magnum is the name of a condom brand. Now that I think about it, developers, this 100% should have had police lights on the roof and a big old crash bar on the front bumper. I'm just saying that is a missed opportunity. Again, I feel like I say this every time, Forza still doesn't have a proper quarter mile drag strip in the game, so if you want to try mine out, there's the share code. Make your predictions now. I would say I would obviously be aiming for a sub 10 second quarter mile. I would probably like to see a mid nines, if I'm honest. Let's go. It's not as fast as I thought off the line. Horsepower can do wonderful things, though. A 9.4 on my first attempt. The rear wheel drive definitely slows it down off the line a little bit. But when you actually start going, all of that 1,000 horsepower just propels you to the line so quick. I've given it a little bit of a drag squat. Let's see if that makes it any faster. There's barely any, any suspension movement from this. I'm surprised it's actually so stiff. That kind of felt a little bit quicker off the line, though. Are you kidding me? N never mind. Welcome back to another episode of Nick has no idea what he's talking about. I'm just going to try shifting out of first gear basically instantly. Kind of feels okay. Kind of does a little burnout and almost wants to do a wheelie off the line. Let's see if that's quicker. I think that was faster. Ah! I mean, a 9.4 is still really, really good. I kind of like the idea of A-Class, if I'm honest. I think A-Class with the stock engine will be better. And supercharged. We're kind of a wannabe Hellcat now again. <laughs> tires, sport tires, semi-slick tires. No, we're going to need way more horsepower. Let's go sport tires, okay? Nathan, you really want me to put rally tires on this? With rally tires, it's a 6.2, a 5.7, and a 6.0. With sport, it's a 6.1, a 5.4, and a 5.8. And these only cost three more PI. It might sound weird, but we're going rally tires. We've already got better brakes. We've already got weight reduction. We've got race suspension. Yo, this thing might actually be really good. You, you might be asking, Nick, are you trying to make this car as fast as possible? No, I'm trying to make it sound really cool, okay? For rear wheel drive, 600 horsepower, 3,300 pounds. That is so sick. I'm not gonna lie, I really don't know what to expect. Let's go Dodge Magnum. We don't have a rear wing. We don't have any aero parts. So I'm kind of just relying on the rally tires and just like kind of the nature of the car to send me through the quarters. This obviously isn't going to be the fastest build you can make because we're rear wheel drive. We don't have that much horsepower compared to, I'm sure, some builds that people will do. But this is definitely a cool build and kind of a realistic build for this thing, actually. So I'm kind of hoping that it works. We're already up to P4. I know I have the potential to gain. It's just every time we start going over 100 miles an hour and through a corner, it starts to slide out a little bit. You can see what I mean. I don't have the confidence just to fully send it through any of these. It's going to go grip, 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 grip right up until the second it does it. Gain, gain on the big old Cadillac and the Mustang. We're halfway through. I've still got time. Here we go. Send it up the inside. Use those rally tires to their limit, Mustang. I didn't actually know the Shelby could have the big old country lab wings, but that's pretty cool. This car genuinely doesn't want to go in a straight line. There you go. There you go. Got him. 
got him. Rubbing is racing. All of the things I usually say really don't go very well when you're driving a car called the Magnum. Let's just give the Magnum a little rub. Yep. For the Canadian car industry. You love to see it. God, I love a Magnum. Now it's time to ruin it. Because, <laughs> because the Magnum, no. <laughs> Because the Magnum is big and long, I think it'll be a great rally car. I'm gonna make this thing all-wheel drive. We're gonna V10 our Magnum, and we will twin-turbo our Magnum. Thick tires for our thick boy. I am gonna get demonetized so quickly. <laughs> It's not even funny. It's at this point in the video, I would like to remind you that we make merch that you can purchase to support me when we get demonetized. There's a link down below. As it turns out, the Magnum is not as fast as I thought it would be. Middle of S1, <laughs> Dodge Magnum. We are about to show everybody that we can do more than just be a big beefy boy. We're also gonna be a fast off-roady dirty boy. It's not going well, not going well. Oh, it's bad, oh, ooh, ooh. We're better through the water than everybody else. I definitely have less horsepower than some of the people I'm racing, but I think we might actually have way better, whoa, way better acceleration, like when we're actually driving off-road. And I think we're also way quicker in the corners, uh-oh. How are we on the jumps? Break, 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 break. We also have better brakes. What he lacks in skill, he makes up in size. That is why we love the Magnum. Ah! As soon as I saw that on-road acceleration, I was like, we're screwed. There's no way we're gonna win this. And then all of a sudden, the Magnum comes into its own element. Moving on. It's an awesome car. We didn't just beat the AI there. We absolutely dominated. Magnum domination. We've officially reached that point of the video. Can a Dodge smoke? It's tires, not it, not its engine. A lot of Twitch chat wants rear wheel drive, so we will not be going for score. We will be going for style. If we are gonna run with that much horsepower, instead of running with drift tires, I'm gonna go sport tires. I'm gonna also toss in the four speed drift transmission, but let's see what it looks like with Whoa. I like it. All right. 1,300 horsepower Dodge Magnum. Since we've got so much horsepower, I probably want a drift zone where I can use some of that horsepower. Let's try this one all the way on the eastern side of Mexico. Personal best 177,000 points. I'm probably not going to be able to beat that because I'm rear wheel drive, but I'm just going to send it in my Magnum. Okay, here we go. Come on. Come on, Magnum. Use all of that horsepower and absolutely send it smokes it up real well. Actually, this might not be that bad. If I actually go for like a try hard line. No, no, don't give me false hope that I might actually be able to get near my personal best. No, 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 no. Don't give me false hope. Send it. That's a big send. Yo, that's crazy. That's a monster send in the Magnum. Yo. Okay, run it out wide. Run it out wide. That's, that's, that's certainly using all the road and some. Wide, wide, 150, 160. No. No! All right, I'm, gi I'm giving this one more attempt. If I don't limit myself, I'm gonna spend my whole day doing this. Ah! Can't you see a Magnum is coming? Today's video is so getting demonetized. <laughs> just send it a hundred miles an hour, just everywhere. Just go, just keep sliding, send it. Oh, that line is tough. 150, 160. It got the same score. I think everybody knew the Magnum was gonna be absolutely fantastic in this game, but I don't think anybody knew that it would be this fun to just mess around with. I would have loved to have seen some cop lights on the top, a big old bash bar on the front. I think that would have made it even cooler. Overall, super, super fun.